Java Indonesian, Jawa, Javanese, Sundanese, is an island of Indonesia. With a population of over 141 million Java only or 145 million including the inhabitants of its surrounding islands, Java is the home to 56.7% of the Indonesian population and is the world's most populous island. The Indonesian capital city, Jakarta, is located on its northwestern coast. Much of Indonesian history took place on Java. It was the center of powerful Hindu-Buddhist empires, the Islamic Sultanates, and the core of the colonial Dutch East Indies. Java was also the center of the Indonesian struggle for independence during the 1930s and 1940s. Java dominates Indonesia politically, economically and culturally. Four of Indonesia's eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites are located in Java, Ujing Kulin National Park, Borobudur Temple, Prambanan Temple, and Sanjuran Early Man Site. Formed mostly as the result of volcanic eruptions from geologic subduction between Sunda Plate and Australian Plate, Java is the 13th largest island in the world and the 5th largest in Indonesia by landmass at about 138,800 square kilometres 53,600 square miles. A chain of volcanic mountains forms an east-west spine along the island. Three main languages are spoken on the island, Javanese, Sundanese, and Madaris. Where Javanese is the most spoken, it is the native language of about 60 million Javanese people in Indonesia, most of whom live on Java. Furthermore, most residents are bilingual, speaking Indonesian the official language of Indonesia as their first or second language. While the majority of the people of Java are Muslim, Java's population comprises people of diverse religious beliefs, ethnicities, and cultures. Java is divided into four administrative provinces, West Java, Central Java, East Java, and Banten, and two special regions, Jakarta and Yogyakarta. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The origins of the name, Java, are not clear. One possibility is that the island was named after the Jawawa plant, which was said to be common in the island during the time, and that prior to Indianization the island had different names. There are other possible sources, the word Jao and its variations mean, beyond, or distant, and, in Sanskrit Yava means barley, a plant for which the island was famous. Yavadvipa is mentioned in India's earliest epic, the Ramayana. Sugrava, the chief of Rama's army dispatched his men to Yawadvipa, the island of Java, in search of Sita. It was hence referred to in India by the Sanskrit name, Yavaka Devipa. Devipa equals island. Java is mentioned in the ancient Tamil text Manamekali by Chithilai Chattanar that states that Java had a kingdom with a capital called Nagapuram. Another source states that the Java word is derived from a Proto Austronesian root word, Iawa, that meaning home. The great island of Iabadu or Jabadu was mentioned in Ptolemy Geographia composed around 150 CE in the Roman Empire. Iabadu is said to mean, barley island, to be rich in gold, and have a silver town called Argira at the west end. The name indicates Java, and seems to be derived from the Sanskrit name Java Dvipa Yavadvipa. The annual news of Songshu and Langshu referred Java as Shipo 5th century CE, he Ling 640-818, then called it Shipo again until the Yuan dynasty 1271-1368, where they began mentioning Zhao Hua. According to Ma Huan's book The Yingya Shenlin, the Chinese called Java as Chao Hua, and the island was called Shipo in the past. When John of Marinoli returned from China to Avignon, he stayed at the Kingdom of Saba for a few months, which he said had many elephants and led by a queen. Saba may be his interpretation of Shibo. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. Java lies between Sumatra to the west and Bali to the east. Borneo lies to the north and Christmas Island is to the south. It is the world's 13th largest island. Java is surrounded by the Java Sea to the north, Sunda Strait to the west, the Indian Ocean to the south and Bali Strait and Madura Strait in the east. Java is almost entirely of volcanic origin. It contains 38 mountains forming an east-west spine that have at one time or another been active volcanoes. The highest volcano in Java is Mount Semeru 3,676 meters 12,060 feet. 
The most active volcano in Java and also in Indonesia is Mount Merapi, 2930 meters, 9610 feet. In total, Java boasts more than 150 mountains. More mountains and highlands help to split the interior into a series of relatively isolated regions suitable for wet rice cultivation. The rice lands of Java are among the richest in the world. Java was the first place where Indonesian coffee was grown, starting in 1699. Today, coffea arabica is grown on the Ijen plateau by small holders and larger plantations. The area of Java is approximately 150,000 square kilometers, 58,000 square miles. It is about 1000 kilometers, 620 miles long and up to 210 kilometers, 130 miles wide. The island's longest river is the 600 kilometers long Solo River. The river rises from its source in central Java at the Lau volcano, then flows north and eastward to its mouth in the Java Sea near the city of Surabaya. Other major rivers are Brantas, Sitaram, Simonic and Seriu. The average temperature ranges from 22 degrees Celsius 72 degrees Fahrenheit to 29 degrees Celsius 84 degrees Fahrenheit. .Average humidity is 75%. The northern coastal plains are normally hotter, averaging 34 degrees Celsius 93 degrees Fahrenheit during the day in the dry season. The south coast is generally cooler than the north, and highland areas inland are even cooler. The wet season begins in November and ends in April. During that rain falls mostly in the afternoons and intermittently during other parts of the year. The wettest months are January and February. West Java is wetter than East Java and mountainous regions receive much higher rainfall. The Periyangan highlands of West Java receive over 4,000 mm in annually, while the north coast of East Java receives 900 mm in annually. Natural environment The natural environment of Java is tropical rainforest, with ecosystems ranging from coastal mangrove forests on the north coast, rocky coastal cliffs on the southern coast, and low-lying tropical forests to high-altitude rainforests on the slopes of mountainous volcanic regions in the interior. The Javan environment and climate gradually alters from west to east, from wet and humid dense rainforest in western parts, to a dry savanna environment in the east, corresponding to the climate and rainfall in these regions. Originally, Javan wildlife supported a rich biodiversity, where numbers of endemic species of flora and fauna flourished, such as the Javan rhinoceros, Javan bantang, Javan warty pig, Javan hawk eagle, Javan peafowl, Javan silvery gibbon, Javan luting, Java mouse deer, Javan rusa, and Javan leopard. With over 450 species of birds and 37 endemic species, Java is a birdwatcher's paradise. There are about 130 freshwater fish species in Java. There are also several endemic amphibian species in Java, including five species of tree frogs. Since ancient times, people have opened the rainforest, altered the ecosystem, shaped the landscapes and created rice paddy and terraces to support the growing population. Javan rice terraces have existed for more than a millennium, and had supported ancient agricultural kingdoms. The growing human population has put severe pressure on Java's wildlife, as rainforests were diminished and confined to highland slopes or isolated peninsulas. Some of Java's endemic species are now critically endangered, with some already extinct. Java used to have Javan tigers and Javan elephants, but both have been rendered extinct. Today, several national parks exist in Java that protect the remnants of its fragile wildlife, such as Ujing Kulin, Mount Halimun Salak, Gide Pangrango, Balurin, Meru Batiri, Bromo Tengar Semeru and Alas Per Wo. Administration Java is divided into four provinces and two special regions, Banten, capital, Sarang West Java, capital, Bandung Central Java, capital, Semarang East Java, capital, Surabaya Special capital region of Jakarta Special region of Yogyakarta History Fossilized remains of Homo erectus, popularly known as the Java Man", 
Dating back 1.7 million years were found along the banks of the Bangawan Solo River. The island's exceptional fertility and rainfall allowed the development of wet field rice cultivation, which required sophisticated levels of cooperation between villages. Out of these village alliances, small kingdoms developed. The chain of volcanic mountains and associated highlands running the length of Java kept its interior regions and peoples separate and relatively isolated. Before the advent of Islamic states and European colonialism, the rivers provided the main means of communication, although Java's many rivers are mostly short. Only the Brantas and Sala rivers could provide long-distance communication, and this way their valleys supported the centers of major kingdoms. A system of roads, permanent bridges and toll gates is thought to have been established in Java by at least the mid-17th century. Local powers could disrupt the routes as could the wet season and road use was highly dependent on constant maintenance. Subsequently, communication between Java's population was difficult. <laughs> Hindu-Buddhist kingdoms era The Taruma and Sunda kingdoms of western Java appeared in the 4th and 7th centuries respectively, while the Kalinga kingdom sent embassies to China starting in 640. However, the first major principality was the Madang kingdom that was founded in central Java at the beginning of the 8th century. Madang's religion centered on the Hindu god Shiva, and the kingdom produced some of Java's earliest Hindu temples on the Diang Plateau. Around the 8th century the Sailendra dynasty rose in Kedu Plain and became the patron of Mahayana Buddhism. This ancient kingdom built monuments such as the 9th century Borobudur and Prambanan in central Java. Around the 10th century the center of power shifted from central to eastern Java. The eastern Javanese kingdoms of Kediri, Singhasari and Majapahit were mainly dependent on rice agriculture, yet also pursued trade within the Indonesian archipelago, and with China and India. Majapahit was established by Wajaya and by the end of the reign of Hayam Wuruk it claimed sovereignty over the entire Indonesian archipelago, although control was likely limited to Java, Bali and Madura. Hayam Wuruk's prime minister, Gajah Mada, led many of the kingdom's territorial conquests. Previous Javanese kingdoms had their power based in agriculture, however, Majapahit took control of ports and shipping lanes and became Java's first commercial empire. With the death of Hayam Wuruk and the coming of Islam to Indonesia, Majapahit went into decline. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Spread of Islam and rise of Islamic sultanates. Islam became the dominant religion in Java at the end of the 16th century. During this era, the Islamic kingdoms of Damak, Sirban, and Banten were ascendant. The Mataram Sultanate became the dominant power of central and eastern Java at the end of the 16th century. The principalities of Surabaya and Sirban were eventually subjugated such that only Mataram and Banten were left to face the Dutch in the 17th century. <laughs> <laughs> Colonial periods Java's contact with the European colonial powers began in 1522 with a treaty between the Sunda Kingdom and the Portuguese in Malacca. After its failure the Portuguese presence was confined to Malacca, and to the eastern islands. In 1596, a four-ship expedition led by Cornelis de Houtman was the first Dutch contact with Indonesia. By the end of the 18th century the Dutch had extended their influence over the Sultanates of the Interior through the Dutch East India Company in Indonesia. Internal conflict prevented the Javanese from forming effective alliances against the Dutch. Remnants of the Mataram survived as the Surakarta Solo and Yogyakarta principalities. Javanese kings claimed to rule with divine authority and the Dutch helped them to preserve remnants of a Javanese aristocracy by confirming them as regents or district officials within the colonial administration. Java's major role during the early part of the colonial period was as a producer of rice. In spice-producing islands like Banda, rice was regularly imported from Java, to supply the deficiency in means of subsistence. During the Napoleonic Wars in Europe, the Netherlands fell to France, as did its colony in the East Indies. During the short-lived Dandels administration, as French proxy rule on Java, the construction of the Java Great Post Road was commenced in 1808. 
The road, spanning from Enir in western Java to Panarukan in east Java, served as a military supply route and was used in defending Java from British invasion. In 1811, Java was captured by the British, becoming a possession of the British Empire, and Sir Stamford Raffles was appointed as the island's governor. In 1814, Java was returned to the Dutch under the terms of the Treaty of Paris. In 1815, there may have been 5 million people in Java. In the second half of the 18th century, population spurts began in districts along the north-central coast of Java, and in the 19th century population grew rapidly across the island. Factors for the great population growth include the impact of Dutch colonial rule including the imposed end to civil war in Java, the increase in the area under rice cultivation, and the introduction of food plants such as cassava and maize that could sustain populations that could not afford rice. Others attribute the growth to the taxation burdens and increased expansion of employment under the cultivation system to which couples responded by having more children in the hope of increasing their family's ability to pay tax and buy goods. Cholera claimed 100,000 lives in Java in 1820, the advent of trucks and railways where there had previously only been buffalo and carts, telegraph systems, and more coordinated distribution systems under the colonial government all contributed to famine elimination in Java, and in turn, population growth. There were no significant famines in Java from the 1840s through to the Japanese occupation in the 1940s. However, other sources claimed the Dutch's cultivation system is linked to famines and epidemics in the 1840s, firstly in Serban and then central Java, as cash crops such as indigo and sugar had to be grown instead of rice. Furthermore, the age of first marriage dropped during the 19th century thus increasing a woman's child-bearing years. Independence. Indonesian nationalism first took hold in Java in the early 20th century, and the struggle to secure the country's independence following World War II was centered in Java. In 1949, Indonesia became independent and the island has dominated Indonesian social, political and economic life, which has been the source of resentment of those residents in other islands. Demography. Demographic profile Java has been traditionally dominated by an elite class, while the people in the lower classes were often involved in agriculture and fishing. The elite class in Java has evolved over the course of history, as cultural wave after cultural wave immigrated to the island. There is evidence that South Asian emigres were among this elite, as well as Arabian and Persian immigrants during the Islamic eras. More recently, Chinese immigrants have also become part of the economic elite of Java. Although politically the Chinese generally remain sidelined, there are notable exceptions, such as the former governor of Jakarta, Basuki Jahaja Purnima. Though Java is increasingly becoming more modern and urban, only 75% of the island has electricity. Villages and their rice paddies are still a common sight. Unlike the rest of Java, the population growth in central Java remains low. Central Java however has a younger population than the national average. The slow population growth can in part be attributed to the choice by many people to leave the more rural central Java for better opportunities and higher incomes in the bigger cities. Java's population continues to rapidly increase despite many Javanese leaving the island. This is somewhat due to the fact that Java is the business, academic, and cultural hub of Indonesia, which attracts millions of non-Javanese people to its cities. The population growth is most intense in the regions surrounding Jakarta and Bandung, which is reflected through the demographic diversity in those areas. <laughs> population development With a combined population of 145 million in the 2015 census including Madura's 3.7 million, which is estimated for 2014 at 143.1 million including 3.7 million for Madura, Java is the most populous island in the world and is home to 57% of Indonesia's population. At over 1,100 people per square kilometer in 2014, it is also one of the most densely populated parts of the world, on par with Bangladesh. Every region of the island has numerous volcanoes, with the people left to share the remaining flatter land. 
Because of this, many coasts are heavily populated and cities ring around the valleys surrounding volcanic peaks. The population growth rate more than doubled in economically depressed central Java in the latest 2010-2015 period versus 2000-2010, indicative of migration or other issues, there were significant volcanic eruptions during the earlier period. Approximately 45% of the population of Indonesia is ethnically Javanese, while Sundanese make a large portion of Java's population as well. The western third of the island West Java, Banten, and DKI Jakarta has an even higher population density, of nearly 1,500 per square kilometers and accounts for the lion's share of the population growth of Java. It is home to three metropolitan areas, Greater Jakarta with outlying areas of Greater Serang and Greater Sukabumi, Greater Bandung, and Greater Serban. 1. Other islands are included in this figure, but are very small in population and area, Nusa Barung 100 square kilometers, Bawen 196 square kilometers, Karamunjawa 78 square kilometers, Kambangan 121 square kilometers, Panaitan 170 square kilometers, Thousand Islands 8.7 square kilometers with a combined population of roughly 90,000.2 land area of provinces updated in 2010 census figures, areas may be different than past Results. Point three, 2015 census prelim data released only first level administrations only, where not available 2014 min. Health estimates are used in their place. From the 1970s to the fall of the Suharto regime in 1998, the Indonesian government ran transmigration programs aimed at resettling the population of Java on other less populated islands of Indonesia. This program has met with mixed results, sometimes causing conflicts between the locals and the recently arrived settlers. Nevertheless, it has caused Java's share of the nation's population to progressively decline. Jakarta and its outskirts, being the dominant metropolis, is also home to people from all over the nation. East Java is also home to ethnic Balinese, as well as large numbers of Madurans due to their historic poverty. <laughs> Ethnicity and culture Despite its large population and in contrast to the other larger islands of Indonesia, Java is comparatively homogeneous in ethnic composition. Only two ethnic groups are native to the island—the Javanese and Sundanese. A third group is the Madurese, who inhabit the island of Madura off the northeast coast of Java, and have immigrated to East Java in large numbers since the 18th century. The Javanese comprise about two-thirds of the island's population, while the Sundanese and Madurese account for 20% and 10% respectively. The fourth group is the Batawi people that speak a dialect of Malay, they are the descendants of the people living around Batavia from around the 17th century. Batawis are Creole people, mostly descended from various Indonesian archipelago ethnic groups such as Malay, Sundanese, Javanese, Balinese, Minang, Bugis, Makassar, Ambanese, mixed with foreign ethnic groups such as Portuguese, Dutch, Arab, Chinese and Indian brought to or attracted to Batavia to meet labor needs. They have a culture and language distinct from the surrounding Sundanese and Javanese. The Javanese Kakawan Tantu Pagalaran explained the mythical origin of the island and its volcanic nature. Four major cultural areas exist on the island, the Kejawen or Javanese heartland, the north coast of the Pasisir region, the Sunda lands of West Java, and the eastern salient, also known as Blombongan. Madura makes up a fifth area having close cultural ties with coastal Java. The Kejawen Javanese culture is the island's most dominant. Java's remaining aristocracy are based here, and it is the region from where the majority of Indonesia's army, business, and political elite originate. Its language, arts, and etiquette are regarded as the island's most refined and exemplary. The territory from Banyumas in the west through to Blitter in the east and encompasses Indonesia's most fertile and densely populated agricultural land. In the southwestern part of central Java, which is usually named the Banyumasan region, a cultural mingling occurred, bringing together Javanese culture and Sundanese culture to create the Banyumasan culture. In the central Javanese court cities of Yogyakarta and Surakarta, contemporary kings trace their lineages back to the pre-colonial Islamic kingdoms that ruled the region, making those places especially strong repositories of classical Javanese culture. Classic arts of Java include gamelan music and wayang puppet shows. Java was the site of many influential kingdoms in the Southeast Asian region, and as a result, many literary works have been written by Javanese authors. 
These include Ken Eric and Ken Deeds, the story of the orphan who usurped his king, and married the queen of the ancient Javanese kingdom, and translations of Ramayana and Mahabharata. Pramodya Ananda Tower is a famous contemporary Indonesian author, who has written many stories based on his own experiences of having grown up in Java, and takes many elements from Javanese folklore and historical legends. Languages <laughs> 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 The three major languages spoken on Java are Javanese, Sundanese and Madaris. Other languages spoken include Batawi, a Malay dialect local to the Jakarta region, Osing, Banyumasan, and Tengaris closely related to Javanese, Badui, closely related to Sundanese, Kanjianese, closely related to Madaris, and Balinese. The vast majority of the population also speaks Indonesian, often as a second language. Religion Java has been a melting pot of religions and cultures, which has created a broad range of religious belief. Indian influences came first with Shaivism and Buddhism penetrating deeply into society, blending with indigenous tradition and culture. One conduit for this were the ascetics, called Rezi, who taught mystical practices. A Rezi lived surrounded by students, who took care of their master's daily needs. Risi's authorities were merely ceremonial. At the courts, Brahmin clerics and Pujanga sacred literati legitimized rulers and linked Hindu cosmology to their political needs. Small Hindu enclaves are scattered throughout Java, but there is a large Hindu population along the eastern coast nearest Bali, especially around the town of Banyuwangi. The coming of Islam, strengthened the status structure of this traditional religious pattern. More than 90% of the people of Java are Muslims, on a broad continuum between Abangan more traditional and Santri more modernist. The Muslim scholar of the writ became the new religious elite as Hindu influences receded. Islam recognizes no hierarchy of religious leaders nor a formal priesthood, but the Dutch colonial government established an elaborate rank order for mosque and other Islamic preaching schools. In Javanese Pasantran Islamic schools, the Kyai perpetuated the tradition of the Rezi. Students around him provided his needs, even peasants around the school. Pre-Islamic Javan traditions have encouraged Islam in a mystical direction. There emerged in Java a loosely structured society of religious leadership, revolving around Kaye, possessing various degrees of proficiency in pre-Islamic and Islamic lore, belief and practice. The Kaye are the principal intermediaries between the village's masses and the realm of the supernatural. However, this very looseness of Kyai leadership structure has promoted schism. There were often sharp divisions between Orthodox Kaye, who merely instructed in Islamic law, with those who taught mysticism and those who sought reformed Islam with modern scientific concepts. As a result, there is a division between Santri, who believe that they are more orthodox in their Islamic belief and practice, with Abangan, who have mixed pre-Islamic animistic and Hindu-Indian concepts with a superficial acceptance of Islamic belief. There are also Christian communities, mostly in the larger cities, though some rural areas of south-central Java are strongly Roman Catholic. Buddhist communities also exist in the major cities, primarily among the Chinese Indonesian. The Indonesian constitution recognizes six official religions. A wider effect of this division is the number of sects. In the middle of 1956, the Department of Religious Affairs in Yogyakarta reported 63 religious sects in Java other than the official Indonesian religions. Of these, 35 were in central Java, 22 in west Java and 6 in east Java. These include Kejawen, Samara, Subud, etc. Their total membership is difficult to estimate as many of their adherents identify themselves with one of the official religions. Economy Initially the economy of Java relied heavily on rice agriculture. Ancient kingdoms such as the Tarumanagara, Mataram, and Majapahit were dependent on rice yields and tax. Java was famous for rice surpluses and rice exports since ancient times, and rice agriculture contributed to the population growth of the island. Trade with other parts of Asia such as ancient India and China flourished as early as the 4th century, as evidenced by Chinese ceramics found on the island dated to that period. 
Java also took part in the global trade of Maluku spice from ancient times in the Majapahit era, until well into the Dutch East India Company era. The VOC set their foothold on Batavia in the 17th century and was succeeded by the Dutch East Indies in the 19th century. During these colonial times, the Dutch introduced the cultivation of commercial plants in Java, such as sugarcane, rubber, coffee, tea, and quinine. In the 19th and early 20th century, Javanese coffee gained global popularity. Thus, the name, Java, today has become a synonym for coffee. Java has been Indonesia's most developed island since the Dutch East Indies era and continues to be so today in the modern Republic of Indonesia. The road transportation networks that have existed since ancient times were connected and perfected with the construction of Java Great Post Road by Dandels in the early 19th century. It became the backbone of Java's road infrastructure and laid the base of Java North Coast Road Indonesian, Jalan Pantara, abbreviation from Pantai Utara. The need to transport commercial produces such as coffee from plantations in the interior of the island to the harbour on the coast spurred the construction of railway networks in Java. Today, industry, business, trade and services flourished in major cities of Java, such as Jakarta, Surabaya, Semarang, and Bandung, while some traditional sultanate cities such as Yogyakarta, Surakarta, and Serban preserved its royal legacy and has become the center of art, culture and tourism. Industrial estates are also growing in towns on northern coast of Java, especially around Selegan, Tangerang, Bekasi, Karawang, Gresik and Sidoryo. The toll road highway networks was built and expanded since the New Order until the present day, connecting major urban centers and surrounding areas, such as in and around Jakarta and Bandung, also the ones in Serban, Semarang and Surabaya. In addition to these motorways, Java has 16 national highways. Based on the statistical data by the year of 2012 released by Statistics Indonesia Baden Pusat Statistic, Java alone contributes at least 57.51% of Indonesia's GDP or equivalent to $504 billion. See also History of Indonesia List of monarchs of Java